G'day. Welcome back to Bootlosophy. And if you're new here, my name is Tech. I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands that I live on here in Perth, the Wajik people of Noongar Now, I'm really extremely excited because this is my um, first pair of this type of boots that I'm getting. And for those of you uh, who have heard of Cordobes boots out of Mexico, uh, this is a pair of Cordobes boots. And if you go and look at my past videos, you see that I've actually already reviewed two of them. So this is an unboxing of a pair of Cordobes boots. Uh, I'm, I'm really quite excited because it's the first time I've had this type of boot. And you'll see what I mean when we get into it. So let's get into it. Gosh, these are um, well wrapped, although they have been, uh, the packaging has slightly been damaged in the transport, but never mind. So, Cordobes boots, a picture of a hide, Cordobes. Uh, let's get into it. What have we got? We've got um, a boot bag and a nice sort of silky material. I love it. We have a card. Thank you. Uh, thanks for the trust you placed on us. We have placed in return our experience, our hands and our long waking hours creating this pair. Uh, we hope you enjoy these pieces for the days to come. Alfonso Ignacio, who's the owner. Thank you, Tech, for your trust. I hope you like them. Alfonso, personal message. Love that. Uh, they're protected in, in paper. I've already shown you the boot bag. And my first pair of engineer boots. I was turned on to them. I hadn't even realized that Cordobes made these, but I was turned on to them uh, by Karl Murawski when he uh, got a pair in the uh, natural rough out. Or was it just, it wasn't the rough out, it was in the natural. And um, I had a look at them. And I thought, well, my first engineer boots, let's give Cordobes a go. Uh, so as you can see, it's the traditional engineer style with the two buckles. I chose their slimmer, uh, uh, slimmer shaped last uh, rather than uh, the bulbous toe one. I asked for the eco rubber sole. Um, I, I think in my, one of my reviews, I, I should have shown that there was a chunk coming out of it. But I can tell you, it is such a comfortable sole that I really wanted this in, in this eco rubber sole. Tremendously comfortable. From what I can see, uh, great leather, tanned in Mexico, not sure which tannery. The, um, the sole construction is a, uh, I think it's a, is it a 270 degree Goodyear welt? I think it might be a stitch down. It's a 270 degree stitch down. Three quarters of the way around the front of the boot. Quite neat stitching. Oh no, I'm wrong. That's a Goodyear welt, I think. Bit confusing. Uh, the actual stitch work looks really good. It's handmade by the artisans in Mexico. So don't expect Weiberg like, you know, perfection because these are handmade on a bench by craftsmen in Mexico. The contrasting stitch, I think, is really interesting. There's a uh, rolled top, so there's a piece of leather there that rolls over the collar, making it a bit more comfortable, I think. A pull loop. Uh, the back heel cover, heel counter cover, uh, comes quite far ahead. So the heel counter's in there. I understand that's a leather heel counter. Uh, a backstay up the, the back that turns into a pull loop, but it's really flat, so I don't think that should catch on your pants. I'm really liking this brown leather. It's full grain, and you can see there's a little bit of pull up. Nice. Brass buckles. A, uh, if that's the welt, 270 degree welt, then they've got a veg tan leather midsole, a full slip rubber outsole, and which on top of that sits a stack of uh, leather for the heel and the um, 
heel top with nailed in and stitched through the welt. It smells really nice. Inside, it's not lined, so that's good. I mean, a tall boot like this, I presume could be quite warm. That's really nice. All right, let's take a look at the second one. Just move that out of the way. You see this line here, that will eventually fade, but that's how they uh, fold the leather so that it, it goes around the last. And again, I'm looking at the stitches. They're neat enough, you know. Um, they're not perfectly measured, but they're neat, very clean. There's no sort of bit sticking out, even on here. The thickness of the leather, as you can see, is reasonably thick on uh, this loop, but a bit thinner up here. And again, I, I like the construction of the pull loop because it lies flat. The toe shape is slightly almondy. I, I wouldn't say it's tapered, but it's slightly almondy, uh, rounded enough across the top. I take these in true to size as per their website. A little bit of pull up and you can see the grain. It's full grain leather, tanned in Mexico, so good for the carbon. <laughs> They look good. Okay, so I'm going to try them on and we'll see what they look like on foot. Okay, awesome. Let's try these on. So I had to change uh, my jeans. I had a pair of tapered uh, jeans from uh, Hugbury's Flint and Tinder range and uh, they wouldn't go over the tops of these boots. So um, I made sure I had to change them. not used to buckles and boots. Eventually I'll get used to them. Uh, they fit perfectly. I mean, down in there, in the vamp, uh, my toe box fits really well. My toe, it's, it's a soft toe. Uh, I decided against a structured toe. My toe I can feel is just there. Uh, no squishing on either side. The ankle is nice. I might, there's one more hole. I might actually tighten that one more. To get a really snug fit uh, around the instep. Right, that feels pretty good. Uh, just sitting down, I feel a little heel slip as I lift my heel. I haven't broken these in yet, obviously. Yes, so um, I think um, you obviously have to wear uh, straight leg jeans with these. Get them into the right hole. Get it nice and tight. I've admired the look of engineer boots without sort of you know, I, I, I don't have a use case scenario for them, but these are really nice looking. Uh, and I'm going to find a use case scenario. Well, they feel really nice. Um, very comfortable underfoot, yet there is definitely heel slip. So I don't know whether it's a function of uh, my having to tighten the buckles a bit more, or more probably, like all heel slip really, it will lessen as I break in the flex point of that leather midsole. Uh, while I was getting ready for these shots, I was really looking at the construction and I think like Cordobas is getting better and better. In, in my earlier reviews, I pointed out a couple of sort of um, maybe slightly uh, inaccurate stitching and so on. You know, these have really improved out of the world. So for a young brand, uh, it's really learning as it goes. And I think the sort of construction on these boots now far outstripped the earlier ones that I had. And I, I'm sure in one of my videos I had said 
just watch this brand, they're, they're going to get better. And they have already. And they'll get better and better as they progress, earn a bit of money, invest some capital. So yeah, I mean, I, uh, the cowboy boot feel like, I suppose, when you put them in. Um, being my first engineers, I really have no idea what I'm supposed to feel as a fit. Uh, potentially, this is a little bit loose on the instep and whether or not I need more uh, uh, holes to put the buckle through because I do have skinny ankles. So maybe that's an issue. I don't know. Somebody who knows engineer boots, let me know. Um, they look good anyway. I mean, isn't that... 90% of, or may, all right, maybe not that much. Isn't that 75% of what men really think, whether or not they look good? Sure, they're heritage, they're good you welded, they're very comfortable, uh, hand-stitched. Um, actually, I, I, I better double-check. I'm not sure if these are uh, hand-welted. I believe they're hand-welted rather than good you're stitched. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know. Men do like to look good in their things, even if we don't admit it. <laughs> and these look good. They are, you know, they're a lot more comfortable than I expected. And I do like that rubber sole that adds to comfort. Yes, I have a lot of boots to break in, but this will be definitely in line. I'll bring you a full review a bit later on in a two or three months while I wear these uh, around. Uh, you know, I'll, I will find a use case scenario for them. They're obviously not boots that I take hiking or in the bush, but definitely weekends. I'll find a uh, bicycle that I can go vroom vroom in and pretend I'm on a motorbike. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, uh, let's wrap up. So there you go. Uh, my unboxing of the Cordobas Engineer boot. As I said, I didn't even know that they had them, but I saw uh, Karl Murawski try his pair on, and I thought, you know, I, I, I wanted a pair of engineer boots. Not quite my style. I certainly don't ride a motorcycle, but I've tried Western boots. I've tried uh, uh, cowboy boots. I thought, well, let me try this one uh, to give you a, a full rounded uh, look at, at various boots. Um, I'll do a deep dive into this. I'm going to put them on, of course. I've got so many boots uh, in the last few weeks, particularly from Parkhurst when they released their uh, capsule collection from Charles F. Stead. But I'll, I, I will do my utmost for you, put them on, wear them, and uh, then I'll bring you this as a full review in a, in a couple of months' time, maybe a little bit longer because of all these boots I have to break in. The uh, midsole is actually fairly stiff, so I think there will be a little bit of break-in required, and particularly in the flexing. Um, but as you saw me try them on, they're, they're really comfortable and I'm looking forward to it. So there you go. I hope you liked the unboxing, and if you did, you know what to do. Click on the like button, and if you're not subscribed, I have no idea why you're not subscribed. Click on the subscribe button, okay? <laughs> so um, I'll bring you these in a couple of months' time, but keep watching because every week I'll bring you a video on, on uh, a boots and maybe a second video from time to time on boot related things. So look after yourselves out there, take care and I'll see you again soon.